So today I got a super, super easy effect that you guys can try out. In today's episode, I'll be teaming up with Storyblocks, who is also sponsoring this video, to show you guys how to shoot and edit the spinning effect like what I did here. So the first thing I did before I started the project was look for overlays that I can use in the edit. And this is where Storyblocks comes in clutch since they have thousands of overlays and animated backgrounds that I can choose from. So since I picked up three different cans, I wanted to choose three different flying overlays to complement each one. For the red can, I found a clip of floating fire embers that would go with the whole red fiery theme that I was going for. For the pink can, I went with some pink abstract particles to give it that magical feel. And all the overlays and footage that you get on Storyblocks.com is royalty free so if you're planning to use it say for a commercial project you won't have to worry about it so make sure to check it out to see if there are any overlays or animated backgrounds that could work for your project and download as many as you want since you'll have unlimited downloads with their unlimited subscription plan I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below now let me show you how to quickly shoot this So I got this automatic spinning platform for around $30 on Amazon. This is gonna help us get that cool spinning movement. I wanted to buy something that was rotating automatically so that the spinning motion is consistent with all the different shots. So these cans will be the subject in our video. I also bought a few bristle boards from the dollar store and I picked out different colors to go with cans I bought. Now all you need to do is pour your board up, set up your lights, turn on your platform and begin shooting. So I wanted to mark the platform with a pencil so that when I was done with the previous can, I would know where to put the next one. I also just kept it rolling for about two full rotations. So now that I have three similarly shot clips, I'm going to take the three backgrounds that I found and we're going to put it all together in Final Cut Pro 10. First thing I'm going to do is place the red can clip on the project timeline. The can is spinning a little too slow so we just need to speed it up. I will change the speed to about 20 times under the retiming options tool and then fast. I will resize the clip to better fit the frame by selecting the transform tool and then readjusting the scale. Turn on the horizon grid under view just to help with the placement. With this shot, I will also adjust the exposure levels using the color board and then turn the saturation up. Definitely spend a bit more time color correcting and grading your footage if you need to. Today I just want to keep it simple. Next I will place the fiery floating ember shot and place it on top. I will cut it off so that the length matches the bottom one. I will also change the blend mode to screen to remove the background from the clip. So this one is done, now we will do the pink can. Drag it to the timeline. Change the speed as well to around 20 times. Now copy the settings of the red can clip by highlighting it then pressing command and C and then highlight the pink can clip and press command shift V. And from the pop-up window, just make sure to paste position and scale. This should match the size of the red can clip and placement. Now adjust exposure and saturation for this clip as well until you are happy with how it looks. I will drag the pink particles on top of the clip. For this one, I will adjust the speed so that the particles are moving around faster. I will also match this up with the length of the bottom clip. Since I want this clip to show through, I highlighted the clip and under blend mode, I changed it to screen. I also lowered the opacity just a little bit. Now we need to combine the top and bottom clip. So highlight them both, right click, and create a compound clip. You need to do this as well with the first two we did earlier. I'm going to place the pink hand clip on top of the red one. Then under effects, I will drag the shape mask tool on top of the pink clip. Change the feathering to about 100 to make the edges smoother. Lower the curvature then resize it until it covers the whole frame. Also click on invert mask. So with the playhead around the beginning of the clip, adjust the shape mask all the way to the top until you don't see it anymore. Then you're going to place a keyframe under position and rotation which is under transforms. Then move towards the end of the clip and readjust the shape mask to fully reveal the next clip. Thanks for watching guys, that was a really fun one to create and if you guys want to see more of this type of stuff, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that whenever I post a video like this, you guys will be notified. And also let me know in the comment section down below what type of videos you guys want to see. It's my time in my prime, this the prime time, pretty content, are you content, no nonsense, just to go get her on a conquest. Uh.